Whether you know him as Eminem, Slim Shady, or Marshall Mathers, there's no denying the astronomical impact he's had on the music industry. Hey guys, it's Phoebe with Watch Mojo. Today we're taking a look at the heartbreaking story of Eminem. Here, tell these people something they don't know about me. Although his talent is amazing, what's even more amazing is his determination to succeed against all odds. Let's take a look at his story. Born Marshall Bruce Mathers III in St. Joseph, Missouri in 1972, Marshall was named after his father, who abandoned him and his mother Debbie. Marshall attempted to contact his father several times when he was a teenager by writing letters to him, but to no avail. Struggling for work, Debbie moved Marshall around the country frequently, resulting in his education being jeopardized as he reportedly relocated and changed schools as often as every two or three months. Yeah, I would change schools two, three times a year, and that was, that, that was probably the roughest part. This lifestyle led to Marshall struggling to make friends and reportedly being labeled as mentally challenged by his teachers. This added to the already tough situation of fitting in whilst being white in predominantly black neighborhoods and schools. But friends and family say that Marshall got used to being a recluse, closing himself up in his room and immersing himself in the world of comic books. Marshall was bullied in school, however, notably by a boy called D'Angelo Bailey, who attacked him in a school bathroom, resulting in him being in a coma for 10 days. After eventually waking up, he had to relearn many of his motor skills. Despite this very real trauma, his mother Debbie is also said to have been guilty of Munchausen syndrome by proxy, convincing her children that they were ill when they really weren't. Although he and his mother moved around a lot, Marshall spent most of his childhood in Detroit, and he finally found solace in a friendship with his mother's half-brother Ronnie Polkingarn and the two quickly became close. And although Ronnie was only two months older than Marshall, he became a mentor to him, introducing him to the world of rap music with the track Reckless from the Break-In soundtrack. Later on in life, Ronnie would take his own life, leaving Marshall traumatized and speechless for days, incapable of bringing himself to attend his funeral. With somewhat of a revolving door of an education, Marshall spent three years in ninth grade, and eventually dropped out of high school when he was 17. Although Marshall dropped out of school, he always had a love for English. That and his love for rap music led him to attend open mic rap battles and try out his material. And it was around this time that he played around with rap names, going by names like MC Double M and Eminem, like the candy. Eventually, he changed it to the Eminem moniker we know today. Although Marshall immersed himself in the underground rap scene, he constantly faced adversity due to him being white. Your squad ain't your type, take some real advice and form a group with vanilla ice. He collaborated with many different local rappers, including his friend Proof, but he still struggled to get people to take him seriously. After meeting his future wife Kim in the late 80s and having his daughter Haley in the mid 90s, he attempted to make a breakthrough with his very first record, Infinite. Unfortunately for Marshall, it was a commercial flop, leading to one of the lowest points in his personal life. Struggling to provide for his family, Marshall would work 60 hours a week at the Gilbert's Lodge family restaurant. But after being fired from Gilbert's, and with the disappointment of his infinite record, Marshall attempted suicide. By 1997, Marshall was living with his mother Debbie, and Kim and Haley, in his mother's trailer. In mid-1997, Marshall decided to change tact. He decided to make his writing more controversial and more hard-hitting, and he created the alter ego Slim Shady to go with his new style, giving him a platform to create chaos on the airwaves. What followed was the Slim Shady EP, and after the EP fell into the hands of Dr. Dre, Eminem, also known as Slim Shady, received almost overnight success with Dr. Dre backing him. Since Marshall shot to superstardom in the rap world, there have been many ups and downs for him, musically and critically. But it's the details of his personal life, specifically in a courtroom, that have garnered plenty of media attention. First of all, Marshall and Kim have been married and divorced twice, with their relationship famously being on-off constantly. Due to his upbringing, Marshall's relationship with his mother has also been somewhat of a roller coaster. In fact, his mother Debbie sued him for $10 million for slander as a result of the Slim Shady LP. And that's not the only time Marshall has been sued. Far from it. He's been taken to court multiple times for track sampling copyright claims, 
and numerous defamations of character. He was even sued for defamation on a diss track he did by the kid who put him in a coma when he was younger. There were even talks of the Secret Service investigating him due to a controversial line in the song We As Americans. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Outside the courtroom, Marshall was fighting his own demons. During the filming of his semi-autobiographical movie 8 Mile, Marshall struggled with insomnia due to long filming hours and became addicted to prescription drugs to help him sleep. He spiraled out of control, with the rapper stating that he lost years of memory due to his addiction. After overdosing on what doctors said was the equivalent to four bags of heroin and relapsing several times, Marshall eventually took to exercising as an alternative to his addiction. And famously, singer Elton John became a mentor for him, regularly calling him up to check on his sobriety. We it, we it, we it. Marshall Mather's success in the music industry is undeniable, and his creative, hilarious, and highly controversial lyrics have changed the way we look at rap. Although his talent is amazing, what's arguably more amazing is his determination to fight against the odds in order to succeed. And that is the heartbreaking life of Eminem. There's definitely more to this man than meets the eye. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments or tweet me at Phoebe underscore WM. And check out this video.